Hey y'all, welcome to another video. Ratchet Devo here, and today I'm gonna go over a couple things that I'm gonna be doing to the OBS Chevy project over the next few weeks, and then we're gonna get into fixing up and restoring these Chevy stock wheels that we got. And I'll just go through the quick process. It'll kind of be a time lapse for some of it, and then we're gonna paint them. Um, I'm excited to try something a little bit different and I love stock wheels on other vehicles, like other vehicle stock wheels on other vehicles. It's always just kind of been my thing. I did it on my Z32, um, my 370. I just kept the stocks on it with big tires. And so that's just always my thing is I like kind of pushing the limits of stock wheels. And don't get me wrong, I love aftermarket wheels as well, but stocks has always been my thing. But let's kind of dive into a couple of the things that I got for the OBS. Apologize, it's kind of bright outside, so that's the reason for the sunglasses. Um, first thing that I got for the truck this week that I'm excited about, good find on Facebook Marketplace. I got a set of headers. This is just one short tube headers for the OBS. I'm going to be doing a custom kind of side pipe exhaust, I think. I think I've made up my mind on that. And I've been collecting scrap metal and piping from other vehicles, and I'm going to try to make a budget exhaust system for that. The next thing I got for the truck, you already know, for this video it's the wheels and we're about to get dive into that part of the video. And so when I say budget at like Facebook Marketplace, $50 for the headers, $70 bucks for a set of wheels. Um, I just like getting things that maybe need a little bit of work. As long as I have the time, it's like a great way to do things. We got the Beltec rear flip kit for, for lowering the rear. We got the torsion keys lowering torsion keys for the front suspension. I got shocks coming for all four corners of the truck as well. Spark plugs, wires, and distributor need to be replaced so I can eliminate that problem. So I have that on order as well. The only thing I'm not sure about yet are the tires. I haven't decided what tires I wanna go with. I actually wanna lower the truck first, sit the truck on these wheels on wood, blocks first and see where it sits and then kind of get an idea of what kind of tires I want first because I want to get the perfect tire for that truck and I want it to sit just right. All right y'all so we're, we're going to be painting these wheels, sanding the wheels, painting the wheels, um, and uh, high gloss black and the, the wheel paint I've always chosen to go with is a dupli color. This is not a plug. I, it looks exactly like a plug. It's not Duplicolor wheel paint has been great for me. I use it on my 370. I had to, I did two coats of that. The only thing I didn't do on my 370 was sand down the wheels. Today I'm going to do that to these because they are a little bit more rough and I and I want the surface to be ready for that paint. So that's what we're going to do for that. So we're going to do a primer and a paint. We're going to sand, wash, blah blah blah, let them dry, and then get into the paint. So let's get to it. saw from the time lapse that we just sanded the wheels I'm letting them dry real quick and then we're gonna start with the primer
primer, y'all. That first coat of primer and the only coat, I think, of primer before we start the gloss, which will be multiple coats. But they already cleaned up a lot better, I'm telling you. This is a great way to clean up wheels. All right. I got clutch kickers event, drifting event in the background while I do this. Uh, let's start the gloss paint. I'm probably going to do multiple coats of this and try to get a really nice high gloss finish. Clear coat is obviously the way to go for like a high, high gloss, but this duplicate color actually will come out with like a gloss finish. Um, it's kind of got a gloss tone to it. So hope you enjoyed that time lapse. I kind of just it's easier sometimes to do that when you gotta actually do some work. But they're still kind of drying, but this is kind of the finish. It'll be a little bit more glossy. I'm almost tempted to do like a clear coat on it just to get it really glossy, but uh, I don't really think they're $70 wheels, so you know. But I think they look really good. It's an easy way to make wheels look excellent from like not good at all like they look like work truck wheels which they were to something that when you put the right tires on the right vehicle you can really turn into something good it's not bad considering you spend a couple bucks on some some spray cans the dupla color really comes out nicely uh, like i said when it dries it'll it'll be a little bit better but what you're seeing on camera is kind of what you'll end up seeing the final product as maybe just a tad bit glossier mm -hmm. 